Karina. Hi, Kizzy. How are you both doing today? Hi. Good. We're thank good. you. How are you? I'm well. Thank you. So tell me, how excited are you both for the third season of Heartstopper to premiere on Netflix? So excited. So excited. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. Yes. So what are you most excited for viewers to see this season, especially with Tara and Darcy? Oh, I think I'm excited to see, um, for them to see how Tara and Darcy navigate uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. Because I think there's, there is one that I don't know if I can say right yeah. now. That is, that could be deemed horrible or, or not nice. Yeah, you know, yeah, I do know what you're talking about. But I think they're very good at having mature, uncomfortable conversations. But because they love each other, finding a happy way, like the right way through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that might be, like I'm excited for people to see that. They make a lot of good decisions. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know. I feel like they've grown up so much. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I just love that love all there. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very nice. Well, what are, uh, what was, oh, excuse me, which episode of this season was your absolute favorite to film? Oh, mm. I think for me, it's Towards episode one. Oh, episode one is lovely. I actually really like episode oh, one. Oh, yeah. I think for me, it's episode one because there's lots of fun things in that, but I don't want to spoil it. A lot goes <laughs> on, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, it's it definitely. starts with a bang. Yeah. Okay. And it's so strange seeing it back in like it was so many days of the filming and seeing it all like all of my favorite moments compressed into one episode. It's so nice. <laughs> and like so much happened. Perfect. Well, you you both have been with Heartstoppers since the beginning. So how meaningful has this journey been for you to, and to be a part of the show? I mean, it's been part of my life for like a long time. Mm -hmm. Like Heartstopper is it's like a, like yeah i've grown alongside it i've grown around it it's been like the biggest part of my life and the most stable and constant thing in my life for a decent time so yeah mm -hmm. and karina yeah really sorry um sorry um yeah i'd say the same is it we've it's been a lot of years how many years have you been doing this? Uh, so i was 18 and i'm 22 now that's crazy. That's four years. Yeah, that's so that a means lot of time. I was too long. Um, so I think it's it's a massive part of again my life too. Yeah. And it's just really nice to be a part of something that has had such a good journey and yeah. long journey. And yeah, it's it's got a special place in my heart. Always. Always. Yeah, definitely. Well, Karina, what makes Tara the perfect role for you? Oh, I think she is so, like, what's the word? Um, <laughs> so full of depth. There's, like, yeah. a lot to her. Mm -hmm. Different, like, she's like an onion. She's got layers. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, as an actor, is a dream to play. You can, can, like, connect into her sensitivity, her vulnerability. I love how um how much she loves her friends and I think I relate to that and I, I like how much she cares about like everyone around her um and also some of the things that she goes through I'm like oh my god I did that too <laughs> but for, for Tara's journey I'm like oh my god I've learned how to deal with these things and she's taught me so much so yeah, nice. yeah Tara's been an honor and I remember reading her monologue the very first season when I got the tape for it was the monologue in the music room and I thought wow there is something about this that I need to be a part of mm -hmm. and it just clicked so yeah she's an amazing character to play and you play her brilliantly oh yeah. you've got to say that though <laughs> yeah. you should have seen me before I was like sure you drop it <laughs> I'm good yes. Kizzy what makes Darcy the perfect role for you um I like her lightness she's super upbeat and I always I come away from playing her feeling really good about the day mm -hmm. um, and if you it's so strange it's like if you smile enough even if it's acting you sort of walk away feeling a bit better so it gives me a little boost to play mm -hmm. Darcy um, I like her deadpan humor. Um, I like her like she says things at the wrong time. She puts her foot in it always, and her friends still like her, which is crazy. <laughs> Love it.
<laughs> so when you found out that uh, Tara and Darcy were going to get a little extra comfy with each other, how did you prepare yourselves to portray that on screen? Yeah. <laughs> um, there was there's a bed in one of the classrooms in the school. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're talking about the full program. So we had an interview scene the <laughs> That's probably a bad That's start. Not, <laughs> not that yeah, that was it was a bad, so we just went for it. Okay? <laughs> I just went for it. No, we had an intimacy coordinator, <laughs> David Thackeray, who we've worked with since season one. Mm -hmm. So, and obviously there was a progression. We throughout season one to two, we always get more handsy and there's more intimate moments. So I think just the process with him talking through yeah. it. Also, I, third season in, I see his, I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, literally. I'm like, not even waiting for the steps anymore. I'm like, give me a hug. Um, but also, it's, I think it's because of, like, well, I feel anyway, I'm everyone in the cast and now my friends and they yeah. can't get rid of me. We're so... really comfortable with each other. Yeah, but it's that comfortability. Yeah. It, we don't, I don't feel very awkward around any of you, really. Yeah. Um, and it gets less less awkward the more you, you do it. We do. Yeah, and we are together for quite a lot of when we're filming, so it's it's yeah. very natural. It's very natural. Also, it's a very organically love it. And even more, your characters are representing the lesbian community. So how impactful would you say that has been? It's so, so nice. Have, yeah, it's so, it's nice so nice and necessary and you know. Yeah. It's yeah, it, you, you don't see a lot of it. Um and that's a shame and you know Tara and Darcy being together and also being part of Nick's journey and helping him understand his own identity I think Tara and Darcy also are role models for the rest of them within that group they you know they're the first they're the first couple mm -hmm. they're very solid um and yeah they see they feel unbreakable mm -hmm. and it's nice to have a lesbian story that isn't sad oh, yeah that's what I was um, gonna say it's nice yeah. that they always have a through line. No matter what's going on, the love is still there and it is still nice and it yeah. is still, it's not represented in like a- And no one dies. Way. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It's just loving and, and what it is. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, it's just, yeah. it's just not very casual about it. You know, it, it seems to them like the most natural thing in the world, really. And yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Like, you know green depicted just as is. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. so comfortable. Yeah, the nothing sad, nothing sappy. It just what it is, what it is. Love it. Yeah. So, if Heartstopper is renewed for a season four, what direction would you like to see your characters go in? Kizzy, Kizzy's got a story. <laughs> and I, I always say I think they should have like a really big fight and like break up, but then get back together. <laughs> okay. Um, but I think it would be fun. Um, I, yeah. I, but I think that like I don't know. There's some just I don't know. I'm like making up stories. I, I'm, I would be interested to see what would happen between the two with with more distance yeah um okay. maybe tara's gone on holiday to barbados and, and, and then you get to film somewhere really nice to film <laughs> in barbados and, and then see how their relationship is long distance works in okay. barbados okay. netflix <laughs> 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 perfect, perfect well ultimately what do you hope audiences take away from art from heartstopper oh i think I think this season specifically, I think the, a good, good takeaway is um, to not all, like, accept when you're, like, obviously you want to help your friends, your partners, but also accept when you can't do that and, and yeah. be able to advise or, or have conversations that are difficult and still work through it and listening. Um, yeah. Sorry, if that, I don't know if that was clear, but yeah. Oh, the takeaway is know when you can help and know yeah. when you maybe it's out of your depth and okay. you can still be supportive. Yeah. Okay. okay, perfect. Because okay. you... um, yeah. I guess like I want people to take away a sense of like comfort or security or yeah, like comfort in the sort of fantasy world that is Heartstopper um, and safety, a uh, feeling of safety, a warmth of love, lots of nice and positive feelings. I just want, I just hope it makes you make people feel good. Yeah. Okay, perfect, fantastic. Well, Karina, Kizzy, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure talking with you. Love thank you, you so you much. Yeah. Have a good day, bye-bye. Thanks, Benny. Thank, thank you, you Elliot. Bye-bye.